you'd be driving with Dad and his old international truck around the place, and you'd be driving past the barn, and he'd say, did you see that? I think that's an old, you know, 1948, whatever, you know, and then, so you'd go back, and you'd think, oh, no, he's found something else. Neil Horton had a knack for finding rare tractors. Over his lifetime, he found and restored so many tractors, his son Brent has lost count. He, he just loved playing with tractors, you know. We, uh, we grow older, but we're still little boys at heart. Two years ago, Neil passed away, and now the family have decided to pass on his collection at a public auction at their farm in Narua next Saturday. Uh, this one, you put a glow, glow torch in there, and it's a bit like a glow plug I suppose but a manual one so you, you've got a little fire going in there. 38 tractors from Neil's collection will be sold. Brent and his brothers have spent the past year getting the tractors ready for the auction. Hasn't been an easy decision to sell them. Um, back to after Dad's passing we've sort of sat on them for a couple of years. Although we quite like having the collection, um, they're, they're, they're to be enjoyed. That's what Dad did. Also in the auction, stationary motors and other unique farm antiques, such as this ice cream maker. Auctioneer Alistair Beer says he expects around 500 people to attend the auction, with bidders coming from all over the world. You will not see this kind of collection up for sale of these tractors again, possibly ever. And while Neil is well known for his tractor collection, Brent says there was much more to him. Life wasn't easy on the farm, there's six of us and uh... Yeah, Dad was worked hard. You know, he was he was a hard worker. Got involved in the church and missions, and so he liked to give back as that as well. So um, I don't want to portray that all Dad did was work on his tractors. He had quite a life outside of that as well. Shiloh Kenor, local focus.